this video, we're going to create code in Excel VBA that will allow us to open a file and then insert a date column into the first column of the data within that file all the way to the last row that contains values. So you can see here I have a folder containing some files of inventory reports. And if I open one of those files, you'll see we have inventory data. And what we'd like to do is open this file, which the file name, if you can see again, these files begin with the word inventory and then a space and then the date of the file and they're in XLSX format. So we want to open this file and then insert a date value that is equal to the file name all the way down to the last row containing values whatever that might be and it could vary depending on which file we choose. So first thing we want to do is hit Alt F11 to go into the VBA editor window. In this project window I'm going to right click anywhere, go to insert and then module. We'll call this subroutine open file and we need to declare some variables. Our first variable is going to be called WB for workbook and it's going to be as the data type workbook. Our second one is going to be WS for worksheet and it's going to be as the data type worksheet. This will represent the workbook that we're going to open and the worksheet, the first worksheet which we want to activate. So after that we have a variable called date value and it's going to be as the data type date and this is going to be a variable that's stored in an input box that we prompt the user to input the date of the file they want to open. Next, we have the path of where the file is located, and that is going to be as the data type string. And finally, we have a variable called last row. That is going to be as the data type long, and this will represent the last row that contains values on whatever file we open. So the first variable I want to define is the date value variable. And that is going to be equal to input box. So the input box is a method. And the only required input is the text you want to display. So we want to display enter file date. Next, we have our path variable, and that is going to be equal to the path up here where our files are located. So I'm going to copy that. It's text, so it needs to be enclosed in double quotes. And this is just the path where the files are located. So the file name begins with the word inventory. So I'm going to add another backslash and then inventory and then space and the next part of the file name is the date that we get from this date value variable which is the input box prompt so what we want to do here is use the and symbol to join that to our date value variable we also need to format this date value in month day year format so we need to use the format function and the first input is what we want to format that is our date value variable and then the second input is the format we want it in that needs to be enclosed in double quotes and we want to use month day four digit year format so we're about to run out of uh, space on this line so what I'm gonna do is hit space and then underscore and that will allow us to continue this code on a new line 
So the final thing we need to input for this path variable is the extension of the file name. So we need to use another and symbol to join it to the end of our date, file name, and then double quotes and dot xlsx for the file extension. So now that we have our path, we can define our workbook variable. And since it's an object variable, it needs to begin with the keyword set. So we want to set our workbook, and that is going to be equal to workbooks and open, the open method. Because we want the file that we open to be assigned to our workbook variable. So the file name that we want to open is our path variable. So now we want to set our worksheet because I know when I open that file, the first sheet is the sheet we want to edit. So we just want to make sure that we, you know, if the file happens to have multiple sheets, we edit the right sheet. So that is going to be equal to our workbook variable we just created. And then I'm going to reference sheets and then the input for that is the index number of the sheet. Well, I know it's the first sheet, so it's going to be sheets and then one. So now what we want to do, we that we have our workbook open, our file open, we want to define our last row variable. And then once we define that, we can add the dates. So our last row variable is going to be equal to our worksheet object variable. And what we want to do is use cells because that will provide a range. So it has two inputs. There's the row input, which for that we want to state rows and then count because that will count every single row on our spreadsheet all the way down to the very last possible row because in column a i know there's always going to be value somewhere so our second input is column one or column a so we count every single row in column a and from there what we want to do is end XL up and return the row number because what we'll, what this does is it takes us to the very last cell in column A and then we do the equivalent of control up arrow which will take us to the last row containing values in column A and return that row number. So now that we have that with our worksheet object variable we want to insert a new column in column A or the first column so we're gonna say columns one insert and then again referencing our worksheet with the range a1 or well a1 will likely have a header so we want to start in a2 and then go to A and then reference our last row variable. And so this will take us from A2 all the way to A and whatever the last row is. So if the last row is 50, it will look at the range A2 to A50. From there, what we want to do is make the values in that range equal to our date value variable that we've already created. So again, we would need to format that in a date format. And it would be the exact same way. So now I'll bring this down a little bit so we can kind of see 
what's going on here as we run this code. I'm going to just F8 through this to run this one single line at a time. So I'm going to hit F8. There's our date value. It's set to 12 a.m. right now. Um, so here is the input box prompt requiring a date. So I want to open the July 5th, 2021 file. So I'll hit enter. So now our date value, you see that ch it changed to July 5th, 2021. And we defined our path. Now we're going to open that workbook. So that file gets opened here. You can see it now. It's July 5th, 2021. Now our last row variable is set to 0. I hit F8 one more time. It's set to 25. And that is our last row containing values. So now we're going to insert a new column in column A, and then the range A2 to A26, or A25, which is our last row, should get our date value variable. And there it is. So that is how you can create code in VBA to both open a file based on a date input and then insert a date column with that same input variable. Hey, if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.